today is a uh, robotic technology expo uh, by Motorman. They have brought in to present to all the industry. Essentially, our products and services are provided to manufacturing to make them more competitive. All new technology coming out, so we have to get everybody on board quickly. We want exposure. We've even had students come through all the way down to young uh, children today, which is a good thing because they need to be introduced to it also. We want them exposed at a young age so we can get them into the automation field so that we can also get them interested in going on to our community colleges and getting training there. Oh, we got to continue to, to do things like what Alabama's doing and the investment in this facility and, and bringing manufacturers and students to places like this and getting people into the manufacturing field. That's my only concern is that kids are going outside of the manufacturing area and that's going to take away from the pool of, of available resources to be in manufacturing. That'll be the one single biggest issue America will have is why people will go and look for overseas is because that's where the labor is. Uh, it's kind of mind-blowing because like it's really hard to believe all these robots can do humanized things. Oh, uh, well, I think it's pretty cool. Like I didn't know like all this you know, stuff was kind of possible, like especially like the accuracy of the robots. It's pretty amazing. It's almost intimidating, kind of, because there's so many things that have been done in here. But if we can get kids back in, uh, into these trades, into manufacturing, and using this latest technology, it's not your old grandfather's, uh, you know, factory anymore. This is, this is cool stuff. You get them into this business, it's gonna be very good for the United States. And we then have a plasma cutter on the end of the robot arm, the robot tooling, is a ESOB plasma cutter. And what we're doing is we are etching in the MTech logo into the steel plate. And we're demonstrating two different uses of the plasma cutter. Uh, this game is based on a very popular game, and the input to the game comes from two instruments, one that senses force, on this end of the bungee cord, the force is sensed, and if I pull on the force really hard, the game shows the input, and then the other axis is controlled on this end, which determines how high the bird will get launched. Uh, the output becomes the result of the bird hitting the building, knocking the building down, and if you destroy all the blocks, you win the game. I've seen a lot of really cool robots here today, and. They all look really cool and it's a great learning experience. It's a win-win for, uh, for the education system. It's a win-win for the industry themselves. It's a win-win for our vendors, our partners here. There's no question um, that you can absolutely be the most competitive in the world here in America. Uh, but you've got to deploy the best manufacturing practices. You've got to train your people to be as good as anywhere in the world. Uh, and you've got to deploy technology, i.e. robotics, automation, the latest and greatest in, in machinery. You're watching CETV from the campus of Calhoun Community College.